What up, Kapratid? It's your boy, Carmo One of Psy Sigma P Fraternity and Sorority, a member of uh, Frontman's Legacy Band. I. So today we were gonna talk about the history of fraternity in the world. Not just one organization, but as a whole. Because I know that even I have my own organization, you all have your own organization, it's still a fraternity. But before anything else, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, make sure to click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell and that way you'll be notified for our future uploads, alright? So stay tuned and let's go with the intro. Let's talk about the history of fraternity. What does a fraternity mean? Actually, a fraternity from a Latin word, frater, that means brother. When brotherhood or fraternal organization, society, club, or fraternal order, traditionally of men associated together of various religious or Secular aims. Fraternity in Western concept developed in the Christian context, notably with the religious orders in the Catholic Church during the Middle Age. The concept was eventually further extended with medieval uh, confraternities and guilds in the early modern, uh, modern era. These were followed by fraternal orders such as Freemasons and Odd Fellows, along with Gentlemen's Club, Student Fraternities, Fraternal Service Organization. Actually, members are occasionally referred to as, as a brother or usually in a religious context, Freighter or Free Art. And today, connotations of fraternities vary according to the context, including companionship and brotherhood, dedicated to the religious, intellectual, academic, physical, or social forces of its members. Additionally, in modern times, it sometimes connotes a secret society especially regarding Freemasonry, Odd Fellows, various academic and student societies. Although membership and fraternity was mostly still, is limited to men, this is not always the case. There are mixed male and female orders as well as woolly female religious orders and societies. Some of which are known as sorority in Northern America, but that was on the previous eras. Because in this era, actually we, we already know that if the organization is for females, we call it sorority. If the organization is just for male, we call it a fraternity. If it's mixed of women and men, we call it frasority or fraternity and sorority. Also, notable modern fraternities or fraternal order include some grand lodges operating among Freemasons and Odd Fellows. So that's all for the fraternity history. And on the next video, we will be talking about who was the first fraternity in the world and who was the last founded fraternity in the world. So if I were you, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, make sure to click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell and that way you will be notified with our future uploads. Aight? Keep safe though. Long live to all fraternal organization. Whether it's religious, student fraternities, college fraternities or whatnot. Keep safe y'all.